Hi you guys, I'm Darnell from Cinema Critics and I'm here to review the Netflix original series Ozark starring Jason Bateman, Laura, Laura Finney, and o Isai? I think it's Isai Morales, I think that's how you pronounce it. So it's about a financial advisor played by Jason Bate Bateman and he he's uh, laundering money for a drug dealer and it kind of goes out of whack and uh, that's pretty much what it's about um so looking at the first episode i was astounded it was awesome the first episode really drawed you into the show um very action oriented gave me the vibe of breaking bad a little bit just from the start i mean there's more vibes of it further down in the series further down episodes but that first episode really like wow is this what this show is all going to be all about it was it was great um, a lot of action um, just and then it just like turns out of nowhere like um, I don't want to go into spoilers but like um, certain parts were you know cer just let's put it this way like certain things happen you wasn't expected to happen so very great um, then like a dramatic turn like further in the middle of the season um, it kind of slowed down really bad like like the first episode was so fast paced and like aggressive and like really great action and then and then it just slowed down really 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 bad during the middle of the season um towards the end of the episode it picked up a little bit like just for just not even just action wise it was just kind of boring a little bit um some of the, like overall acting was really good but like I didn't care about some of the characters. Like, there's a preacher uh, and his family in this series, and I really didn't care about them. Um, I think they kind of brought them in too late, um, and I just really didn't care about what happened to this family. Also, a um, there's more back backstory in the middle. Actually, not even in the middle. It was like towards the end. I wish they would have like tried to spring those out in between certain episodes. Like, it was just that stuff could have made me care more if they did it earlier throughout the episodes doing all the backstory so that's uh one caveat some uh, things i do like um i like the actual um chemistry from jason bateman's character and laura finney's character they had some uh relationship problems and actually liked how it all came together um it I did really well with that. Uh, the other character I like was Ruth, played by uh, Julia Gardner. I believe that's her name. Um, really, I really liked her character. Um, she was uh, a young girl who, who had the force to grow up because her father was in jail and she was living with her uncles and and her uh, cousins. So um, I really liked that. Um, I really liked her character for the most part. You can kind of put this together with Breaking Bad. It seems similar to Breaking Bad. Um, it's fine. I don't, I don't mind. It's uh, it's had this Breaking Bad vibe to it. But what the problem is, if you're going to be like Breaking Bad, you got to be like Breaking Bad. It just wasn't good enough. Like, he was put in certain, uh, certain situations, and I would like to have been handled better than the way, you know, like, way it's done. It would have been more, a little bit smarter, uh, more interesting. The last episode, most of it was good. Um, I didn't like the way it ended. I think it should have ended more of a cliffhanger. It was a cliffhanger, but it just wasn't enough. I think it should have added just another little piece of to maybe part of the the dealer, you know, have that, another dealer come or something, just something else. Yeah, I just I didn't like the way it ended. But overall, it was okay show. I wouldn't rush to go see it. Um, hopefully, maybe the second season, if it gets one, uh, maybe they will uh, push the envelope up more between the the meat of the series and right in the middle trying to boost that up and i'll hopefully it will uh, do better i'm really i like the idea like that first episode will hook you on and then once you after that first episode it kind of like goes down a big steep slope and you're like ah but um hopefully it will uh the next season will turn out better so for the series ozark um I guess I'm going to do a letter grade. If you guys want me to do numbers or anything else, let me know in the comments below. But right now, I'm going to do a letter grade. I'm going to give Ozark a C+. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Darnell from Cinema Critics. 
Let me know what you thought of Ozark in the comments below. And if you want me to review anything else, please let me know and I'll review it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.